Birds are also here, yeah, they are. And uh, not any of the ones who are complicit with it. No. Not that I recognize, no. That one looks familiar, though. Oh yeah, still on the hunt for criminals, for sure. <laughs> sure are some of them around. And there's the Walgreens. The where uh, you know Nemchek was first uh, identified as a uh, criminal scammer, the 9/11 scam. Uh, he'd been on the Fremont Street uh, experience here for six years or more, under the noses of these security guards, and uh, that's the reason we're here today, to kind of document why they haven't done anything about him and why they uh, kind of. Uh, over there, um, do you know anybody right there? there? Do you know Officer Hogan? He's in there. Hogan? Yeah, he's in there. Can you uh, go talk to him for me? Because I'd like to talk to him. Why don't you go talk to him? Oh, I've tried. I've tried. Go try again. He's right you there. try for me. I don't have to try for me. Then go do your work. I don't have a work. Another container? Ooh, you gotta get rid of that. That open bottle. That Where's bottle Hogan? I don't know. You don't know? You said you did. Uh, now you don't. You got to get rid of that bottle. No, it's just, uh, it's the new, what? what bottle? That bottle right there. What do we got to get rid of is stolen valor on Fremont Street. How about that? We got to get rid of a bottle, but not stolen valor and criminals, right? That's what they uh, told me. I don't know what he's talking about. Any kind of a bottle. No. Funny thing how uh, some crimes are tolerated and some aren't. It's funny how they got a problem with a glass bottle, or what looks like a glass bottle, but they don't have a problem with one of the most notorious criminals in America Why on their own street. The Sorry? Why don't you go look for police? Where are they? They're over there. Now go get them for me. Go get them yourself. Oh, I've tried. Yeah, I got a fucking assaulted right under your fucking noses. Well, What'd you do about it? I know who you are. Here, here, walk away. All you do is walk around. You just walk around and look tough. You don't actually do nothing. You're just for show, right? How's it going, buddy? Pretty good, how are you? Not bad. Stolen valor. You know what that means? It means when people lie about being in the military. Oh, yeah. There's a criminal on the streets that I'm uh, uh, exposing. Like where I'm from, they call it Mac. What's that? They call it Mac. What's that? Like because I'm from uh, Boston, they call it Mac for something like that. Metcocks? Mac Cox. What does it mean? Same thing. Just a different word. Just, just a different word, I guess. So what are you up to today, to this morning? Nothing. Good morning, by the way. Just trying to warm up a little bit. Yeah, it was cold last night, wasn't it? Yeah, Well, I got a mosey on, but I'll see you later. No, it's just a shell. They're just a shell. Yeah, they're just for show. They're just for show. So, uh, I'm gonna pause. Well, let me cross the street first. And get them for me. They won't talk to me. Oh, fucking security guards. Fucking run at cops. Those guys were working with Nimchik for years. And they also took money from him.
is what the evidence suggests. No, I cannot say it definitively. They looked pretty pissed off. No doubt there'll be some more security guards coming after me soon. But hopefully I'll get to Hip Hogan down here when he hears about it. We're just waiting for him. In the meantime, this is Fremont Street, Las Vegas. And uh, here's the Walgreens. I'll set the phone down for a second. Any questions, uh, feel welcome. Any minute now, we should expect uh, a barrage of uh, police and or uh, rent a cop, uh, Fremont Street security guards to come and try to chase me off the street. We'll see. Nunchuk has not been seen on the street Lately, but as I said, uh, reason I'm here uh, two weeks ago, according to information, he was here and uh, in the Walgreens. And my information had said that he was banned from here, apparently, not. Maybe they thought they could get away with it. Maybe they thought I would go away. I have not gone away. I am still here, as you can see. Still spreading the truth. tight, we'll either see one of two things. Some, uh, let me put this in a stick. Some, uh, Walgreens manager, or assistant manager, who is complicit with Nimchik, or 
security or police. If we're lucky, we might see some of Ninchik's thugs come and uh, try to uh, attack me again violently. Right in the middle of Fremont Street. Whatever happens, uh, I'll be here. If you don't know who Mark Ninchik is, while we're just waiting for something to happen, Mark Nimchik is a uh, notorious uh, scammer. Made national news um, 10 years ago for the 9 11 truck scam in New Jersey. Um, a charity fraud scam where he and a uh, partner who has multiple convictions for uh, attempted uh, attempts to uh, meet with an uh, underage girl similar to what you might have seen on uh, To Catch a Predator shows. His name was Thomas Scalgioni. He's not here. His whereabouts are unknown. Mark Nemchek is definitely here, and I've definitely uh, seen him in this very spot, but uh, not this particular morning, of course. He's not uh, the quarry today. Anyway, that pair of shitbags uh, 10 years ago pulled off their 9-11 uh, truck scam, not only in uh, New York and New Jersey, but in different parts of the country, where they pretended to be uh, a charity, charity for 9-11 victims and their families. Uh, they defrauded uh, t-shirt manufacturers by telling them that they were a charity. Bought uh, t-shirts printed with uh, logos, or sorry, emblems, or badges of the uh, NYPD, FDNY, and Port Authority of New York and New Jersey without their permission. They then uh, began to drive around in a truck, a big red pickup truck, what they called the 911 truck, decaled with 343 names of the first responders who sacrificed their lives on 911 and pretended to be a charity, sold those t-shirts which they had bought for pennies on the dollar for about $20 a piece and sold for about uh, $20, $30 a piece. All the money went into their own pockets because they're scammers. Mark Nemchik himself, of course, lied about being a Navy SEAL which is Stolen Valor. The scam ran from uh, 2010 to 2012. Let me just turn the camera around for one so you can kind of see me. Front. I'll just test it out here. The scam ran from uh, 2010 to 2012. It, uh, let me see the other side. So anyway, yeah, the main thrust of it was that they were uh, pretending to be a charity. Uh, they would scam people on the basis of uh, being a charity and his being a Navy SEAL, former Navy SEAL, which he wasn't. Um, he was busted in... Uh, Exposed, busted by Don Shipley, an actual Navy SEAL, uh, in 2011.
the truck uh, had license plates that said N Seal, novelty license plates. And the back of the truck had insignia of the seal uh, of a, of, uh, sorry, the uh, seal trident. All of it used fraudulently and for the purposes of fraud to uh, scam people. And he's been doing the exact same thing here on Fremont Street since 2016. Why does this affect me? Because I worked at this Walgreens starting in 2011. <laughs> oh. I'm getting confused. November of uh, last year, 22. And uh, on my shift, which was from uh, 4 o'clock p.m. to midnight, Mark Nemchek would almost always come in at least one time. Every time he came in, he would spend several minutes uh, before and after kind of hobnobbing with uh, the security guards in our store. Perfectly normally, he would do his shopping for uh, basically junk food when he came through the uh, cashier's line, he would pay for his purchases by reaching directly into the bucket in this very Walgreens. Here, I'll, uh, uh, sorry, I've been sitting in one spot for a while. I want to make it more interesting. But uh, yeah, this is the very Walgreens where he was in. Not only, uh, originally it's two weeks ago he was in here. And uh, this is the very store where he would come in almost every night and where I worked. The cashiers you can see are uh, where I used to work. And I was wrongfully terminated from this place because uh, after several months, I was able to identify it. You see that cashier working there? I was working in that exact same spot. So anyway, I uh, felt something was fishy, as you probably do, if you watch any of the videos. Um, and I was finally able to identify him by uh, the writing on the back of his uh, fake bulletproof vest. Long story short, I found that he was Mark Nimchik, the notorious 9-11 uh, charity fraud scam. After he was uh, convicted in New Jersey in 2013 and sentenced to five years probation in 2014, instead of uh, the one-year uh, prison time that he should have gotten and that prosecutors were seeking, but that he uh, avoided because of his health problems, recently diagnosed Parkinson's at the time, he was able to avoid prison and he used that opportunity to come here to Las Vegas and begin scamming again, using the exact same scam in a different form. He didn't have a truck. He had a wheelchair this time as his Parkinson's had uh, progressed. And uh, the street you see right in front of you, Fremont, is an extremely busy tourist street that this monster used to go up and down on virtually every night for seven years. Scamming people. Pretending to be a decorated veteran. A Navy SEAL. An NYPD first responder on 9-11 who was in Tower 2. And yet, somehow he survived. 
is done, Shipley said, miraculously in uh, the video on my YouTube. Don Shipley is an actual Navy SEAL who hunts down stolen valor shitheads. Just like Nimchik. And that's how Nimchik was first uh, exposed back in 2011. Somebody uh, in New Jersey passed a tip to Don Shipley that uh, this guy with this 911 truck doesn't look right. And uh, the rest is history. He was exposed, he was uh, arrested in 2013, convicted in 2013, and then finally uh, sentenced in 2014. But unfortunately, he didn't get prison time like he should have. He came here to Las Vegas. Where he still is. But apparently, as far as I can tell, not on the street at the moment. And although I have been looking for him constantly, that's not why I'm here today. I'm hoping to talk to one of the managers in the Walgreens later and ask them why they allowed Nemchik into the store roughly two weeks ago. Which is what my information uh, indicates happened. And that's not okay. Let me turn the camera around for a second so you can see what I'm doing and what I look like. And uh, all the people that you can see around you, you know, have probably seen and almost certainly know about it. The fact that uh, the security is a little bit scarce speaks volumes. They had no clue this was coming. And when I uh, first came on, they were panicky as fuck. And that's fucking awesome. Because I want them to panic. I want them to see that people care. Where are you going, Cam? What's that? Where are you going, Cam? Yeah. Give me that arrow. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, have you seen them? You know him, right? When did you see him last? What's that? How long? That's my information too. One week, two weeks. He used to be here every night. Did you know that? Uh -huh. Until I confronted him about uh, five and a half months ago. Uh -huh. Then he became scarce. The reason I'm here now is because I have information, just like you, that he was here a week to two weeks ago. And that's not okay. Because he doesn't belong anywhere on our streets. And if you see him again, just know he's bad news. You work at uh, one of the casinos? Yeah. How do you like it? Oh, yeah. Cool. Right. You get pregnant on his ass, get him off. I will. I will. <laughs> All right. Well, let's just walk up the street here. See if we can see any uh, security guards and piss them off. Because uh, here, let me look in the. Uh, I'll show you. A little easier here. You can kind of see me in the window. Not so good. I need more like a kind of a mirror, a window, so you can see. And can you see me in the window?
that's my front. This is the uh, D Casino, by the way, in uh, Fremont Street, Las Vegas. And that's in case any of you uh, have not seen the uh, Mark Nemchuk sign, why don't I just take it off for one second? I'll take both of them down. So I can right here, right? So I'll just put this. And I'll take off my backpack for a minute. That's my sign. Get you a close up. I've been wearing this the whole time. And many times before. What did he do? Well, sh <laughs> how much time do you have? <laughs> what didn't he do is the question. Just uh, Google his name. Um, he's a scammer. He's a lifelong scammer, con artist, fraudster, piece of shit, scumbag. Um, he became famous, though, for uh, the 9-11 truck scam. Uh, he and a partner, starting in 2010, going until 2012, I had a pickup truck decaled with names of uh, the names of uh, firefighters and first responders who died on 9-11. They exploited people pretending to be a fake charity. Although they were convicted in New Jersey and started the scam in New Jersey, it didn't, uh, it wasn't only there. They even went to Ground Zero in New York City. That hallowed ground where they committed their fucking disgusting fraud. They uh, bought t-shirts from different manufacturers claiming to be a charity so that they could uh, get them basically at cost for one or two dollars a piece. And they would sell them for 20 to, 20 to 30 dollars a piece out of the uh, back of this 9-11 uh, truck that they would drive all over. Uh, his partner, Thomas Scalgioni, who's a convicted uh, uh, sex offender under Megan's Law for trying to meet underage girls uh, for sex. If you've ever seen uh, the show um, um, To Catch a Predator, to catch a predator, um, uh, that's exactly what he was doing. He was um, emailing with uh, people he thought were um, underage girls, but they were actually uh, police, and they busted him for it. He did it not only one time, but three times he got busted for it. That's the guy that Mark Nimchik got into business with in his 9-11 truck scale. Thomas Scalgioni. Um, Thomas Scalgioni's role in the scam was uh, PR, basically. He would set up uh, events that were related to 9-11 uh, or, uh, you know, anything kind of vaguely right-wing or patriotic. And he would contact the organizers and he would have that 9-11 truck show up. He and Nemchik would then pop out of the truck and say, you know, we're father and son firefighters. And we were responding to the Twin Towers on 9-11. That's what the pieces of shit said to people. They had nothing to do with 9-11. They weren't in New York on 9-11. And then they said, oh, yo, we're, we're selling these t-shirts. And by the way, by the way, these t-shirts have racist, bigoted, hateful, and false uh, slurs against Muslims on the front and back, or sorry, on the back, but on the front, they were um, using without permission 
the emblems of uh, NYPD, FDNY, and uh, Port Authority of New York and New Jersey to try to make their skin look legitimate. And that's the exact same thing that Nimchik wears now. As I said before, obviously, uh, Scalgioni is long gone. But Nimchik is still at it, and he's still wearing the exact same emblems, fraudulently, if you can believe it. That's how audacious his scam here on Fremont Street was. According to all information, after the sentencing in 2014, the sentencing to five years probation, instead of uh, one year in prison, which the prosecutors were seeking, and uh, the five years, which he should have got, in my humble opinion, he uh, spent a couple months in uh, New Jersey, according to records, and then he came right here to beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, where he immediately began to scam. Again, a version of the same 9-11 truck scam in direct violation of the terms of his probation. And he's been at it ever since. Up to apparently the present day. The reason I'm involved with it is because, uh, again, if you haven't tuned in, that Walgreens you see behind you, I was working at. For several months, on my shift, he was a regular customer almost every night. And uh, he appeared extremely fishy, but I didn't uh, identify him by name until uh, April 28th. Well, there's some security guards again. Hey, hey, hey guys, how's it going? Good job. Anyway, so they, uh, so they, um, besides that, yeah. All right. Give me one second. So yeah. Um, after I. Uh, identified and confronted him on April 28th. Um, he became very scarce. Let's go follow these security guards, see what they're up to. But then a month later, he began to come back to the store where I was still working. And so I made the sign you just saw that they were of uh, Mark Nemchik's sign. Do you want to go towards the Walgreens that way and see if we can see some uh, managers to ask about whether he was, well not whether, but what they think about him being in the store two weeks ago, or we can uh, mosey on up this way. See if we can find some other security guards or police who've known him been friends with him, protected him for the uh, past seven years. It is pretty hot out there in the sun. But I see the security guard standing there. I can see the security guards standing outside the Walgreens. Pretty clear they're trying to quote unquote protect it from me because they don't want the managers to have to answer any uncomfortable questions.
But we're not causing any trouble. We're not doing anything illegal. We're just walking around a public street. We're just walking around a public street here in our own community and uh, not causing any trouble at all. Not causing any trouble at all and not doing anything illegal. We're just kind of moseying around, looking at what we look at. I would add that this exact same spot was the spot. Oh, yeah. It's Mark Nemchek, yeah. This one, I don't know, maybe like 25 or 28, I don't know. I have thir no, under 30, probably. Who cares? It doesn't matter. But the point is that this place in front of the Walgreens is where the assault happened, both assaults. Um, witnessed by these very uh, Walgreens, or sorry, Fremont Street security guards and uh, Walgreens uh, security guards. Uh, since then, they have covered it up. They pretended they couldn't. Oh yeah, I sure did. I even knew that, I even met you in the Walgreens and you even know who I am. You don't? I got your voice on camera. Are you sure? You sure? So you didn't talk to me on uh, J June 13th? Inside of Walgreens? Outside of Walgreens. So you met me inside of Walgreens? Right? Well, I, well, on June 13th, outside. So which one is it? On April... One, uh, on June 2nd, it was in Walgreens. What did I tell you? You told me... Something about the sign. So sure wasn't about the It could have been another. Now that I it might not have been you, but it looks some it you you, you look similar to a different guard. But oh. nighttime both oh. times. I come in the morning. The night time? When did you start oh, working for uh, Walgreens or Fremont Street Security? It wasn't me though. I don't work in. No, no, you're you're correct. It was not you, but you do look kind of similar. I know you. It was not you though. I don't think I've seen you before, actually. I haven't been here for since August, actually. It's the same bus yeah. I'll try. Um, I do have uh, Mark Nemchik's thugs making death threats against me still. Mark Nemchik. Mark Nemchik. Mark Nemchik. Take a good look, take a picture. Is that what you're carrying? Did you touch my uh, my backpack? I said, is that what you carry those with you? Did you touch them? Yeah. You did touch them? Yeah. Why? You said to look at them. I said to look, not touch. You said look at them. Look at the sign. I said don't touch my oh, weapon. The sign. the sign is over here on the side of you. Yeah. Oh, I, I know who that is. Yeah, you sure you do. Everybody does. <laughs> yeah, you got the screen name. Is that right? Yeah. Me too. If you actually look up his name, you'll see a whole video about him spraying pepper spray. Guess what? What? It has 150,000 views. And it has a commentary by a real Navy SEAL. So, so you said that Metro never did anything about it. Sorry? You said Metro never did anything about it. Um, I'm basically at war with Metro because they're on the side of Nemchek, uh, a criminal and I'm on the side of the law. And uh, I was assaulted twice in front of this Walgreens. By him? Yes, no, no, not by him. He was here, but he was clearly directing his thugs to attack me. Oh. The one time, um, that was, uh, let me see. May 12th, he spit on me, not far from here. Right down the uh, the uh, side street there, uh, past the Fremont.
on camera, he spit on me. And uh, Metro Police, uh, seeing the videotape, said, he didn't. And I said, uh, the video shows he did. And I posted the video publicly. And they still s maintain that nothing happened. The same way that they maintain that nothing happened right in this spot here. So you're like protesting? I'm not protesting. I'm helping my community to see the truth okay. about uh, a dangerous scammer, a notorious con artist who was convicted of uh, theft by deception for pretending to be a 9-11 uh, sheriff. He made national news. If you don't believe me, you don't take my word for anything, guys. You think I'm crazy? You think I'm crazy? Just look it up. Just look it up. Well, because you don't seem to know who I am, but I think you do. How would I know who And I think you know who Mark Nemchik is. Am I supposed to know who Uh, yeah. Yeah, you are. Because uh, I had some major issues with uh, Fremont Street Security. And Metro Police. Right where we're standing. So yeah, yeah, you should. I specifically should? Yes. You're with Fremont Street Security, right? I don't know how you could possibly not, because those were pretty major events. So major that uh, they went out of their way to lie about them, even though they were on camera right, and posted that. publicly. I gotta go. I'll All you got to do is look up this guy's name, and you'll find out everything you need to know. And you, or you could just walk away and ignore it. Anyway. See, that's what we're dealing with. But uh, yeah, what we really like to find is some Metro PD, because they were the ones who were harassing me about, uh, you know, oh, you can't have a sign with a money symbol on it. And the ironic thing about that is that they allowed Mark Nemchik to actually scam literally asking for money in his sign. And yet when I had a dollar sign on my sign, because I'm telling people how much he stole, uh, Fremont Street Security had a problem with it. So I wasn't allowed to tell the truth, but he was allowed to lie. And if that's not a scandal, I don't know what is. So hopefully we'll just mosey on. We'll say goodbye to the security and we'll see if we can find some uh, Metro police. That's the uh, stratosphere in the distance. Yeah, it is. See if we can find some metro police because uh, they're the ones we're looking for. Because uh, the winter cops that we were talking to before, 
they come and go. I mean, there's a lot of turnover. They don't know what's going on. They last about, you know, a few months. And they move. You know who I'd really like to find is uh, Detective Ballinger. This is not his shift. Eh, for a while, we'll just mosey on. Hey there. I think I kind of recognize you. You're. You were on uh, TikTok Strati's uh, 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 feed once, right? I know him. He, me and him coordinated on, or, or he liked some of my videos. I made a video with some of his clips. You were the guy who was saying you want to find a, uh, a millionaire, a Tamiri, right? Right? I like that video. That's a good video. Yeah, I was just talking to you. It was funny though. It was great. Uh, I, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm, uh, I am a lot. But I'm cool. I'm a good guy. I'm, uh, I don't have a job. I'll be for Oh, fuck. I'm too late. For you, if you promise to put in a good word for me, you'll pick up the Pick up the square, man. Pick up the square. So what is that guy's guy? Oh, okay. What's going on? This way. You see the square? Oh, so he just fucking scammed me. Yeah, yeah. Stole over. Oh, no, no. That's just a scammer. One of the worst scammers in America. Wow. No reason. What do you so do? He got, he got, he got, he got busted. Yeah. He got, Ten years ago, he got busted in New Jersey. It was a 9-11 truck scam. He and a partner pretended to be a charity. Uh, they got teachers, thousands of teachers. They have one few hours of teachers. And they went around the country in that truck and stole them. But it was pretty much. Awesome. Awesome. Well, you know what they did? Yeah, good. They actually put out a donation. And they said, look at the donation. They made $120,000. My fifth. Oh, my God. They sure can. I don't like him, I hate him in Tazi. That's why you're here. I hate him in Tazi. I'm getting a word out, brother. I'm getting a word out. I'm out here with the security. Where'd you go? Walgreens where I used to work. That's how I got into all this. He's not around today, but the reason I'm here is that uh, I heard he came back. He's been skimming down on the strip, mostly. And I've been watching out for him here, but then I got a report that he'd been here, so I had to come back. I also know that some of his guys are there. You what? Some of his guys that he works with are here. They never left. But uh, that's neither here nor there. But uh, he's a really bad guy. All you gotta do is look on your phone there. Just look up his name. Mark Nimtrick. It's a hard name to spell though. You gotta... <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, he made national news 10 years ago. Did you know that? And uh, he's going to make national news again. Did you know that? No. But I know he's like one. 
Nah, unfortunately not yet. That's what I'm trying to do though. Me and some other people. Unfortunately, the police around here have been kind of, uh, let's just say, not doing their job. Did you ever talk to him? What do you, uh, what'd you talk about? What'd you talk about? Yeah, everybody says that. He's very rude, actually. Especially if you try to ask him questions. And uh, the guys that work for him are even more rude. <laughs> because, uh, you know that a group, you know that a group of them uh, attacked me violently. Yeah, that dude and that woman. Twice. A woman? Yeah. You it, mean it's uh, a long time ago. It might have been a year or so ago. Are you thinking about 2021? Maybe it, it, See, that was before I came here, but I've heard about that. I've come here right then. That was a different guy. He did a version of what I'm doing, and I've been in touch with him, but he didn't know the whole story, and he didn't actually, um, you know, put it on the internet or really do much with it. But yeah, I, I, I know that guy. Anyway, it, it kind of died with them. And then I came along in April. April of this year. And I started up all this. But I've been uh, away from the street for a while. Yeah. But now I'm back, like I said, because he's back, apparently. And uh, what I'm really looking out for here is some police, because I think that they've been and talking to them. Man, I'm also looking for some of his guys, but you take it easy, brother. So, yeah, so, you, so anyway, yeah, I was talking to that guy just now, so you see, everybody knows him, but, you know, nobody knows it. You know what I mean? Quite a few of them. Possibly new, but pretend they don't. Others truly don't, and I'm giving them the truth. But, uh, yeah. And here we are. Any, uh, I haven't been looking at your comments much, but uh, I'm sorry about that, but uh, yeah. If you're sending any questions or comments, I'll try to respond. <sighs> Take a rest here for a minute. That's my sign. One of my signs. And, um, yeah, there's those uh, security guards again. Four of them together, no doubt they've given the word out that I'm here and uh, police will be on the way. And the stolen valor is uh, with the guy was. Why don't you have one? I got one. Where is it? Can I, can I buy it? By that guy's attitude, he knows more than he's telling. Looks a little bit like that piece of shit. Sunny D.
Just seeing what we can see. Well, what do you say we head back to the Walgreens? One time I was here, one of the uh, Fremont Street security guards tried to tell me that my sign was uh, too tall. I told him that uh, Mark Nimchik's sign was twice the size of mine. And uh, while I've been carrying mine for a few weeks, he'd been carrying his here for seven years. So why do you have a problem with my sign and not his? Especially since I don't have any felony convictions and he has more than you can shake a stick at. And uh, they didn't give an answer. Fremont Street Security, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police have never given an answer to anything related to Nimchik. Neither has the Walgreens. They're all mum. And along with the information that Nimchik was here two weeks ago, I also got the information that uh, one of the assistant managers, who I've mentioned in uh, a description of my YouTube video, Kiana Alexandria Music, told him loudly to leave the store sometime in June or July after I was terminated. which is one other thing I wanted to follow up here. Uh, I also learned that Myron Hooks, who is the uh, assistant manager who's seen at the very end of part one uh, of the confrontation video, and in other videos, because he was uh, facilitating and cooperating with uh, Nimchik's thugs, both before and after violent assaults on me. Uh, he's been fired for unclear reasons. Other employees have reported he did something bad, but don't know what. If I can meet one of the assistant managers today, I'm hoping that I can get information about why he was fired uh, what he was doing. I mean, I, it's a good thing that he was fired, for sure. I would like to know if it was related to Nimchik or not. But uh, it could have been anything, because Myron Hooks is uh, a very bad guy. Very bad guy. That other employee in there was one I used to work with, or her right there. Do a zoom in here. Um, this employee was working there the entire time that I did, and before. When I told her about Nimchik, she didn't care. The other one is no. <laughs> the 
He's not on duty at the moment, but eventually he will be. Um, Cedric Moore. And if you look at the sign here, you'll see his name. It's uh, Cedric Moore. Cedric Moore is a piece of shit. A scumbag. The head manager of this store. The day after I confronted Nemchek, he and uh, Kiana uh, Music talked to me about it and uh, basically told me that they supported Nimchik. And that I should back off. Cedric Moore said he didn't care about anything but money. Somehow, at a fairly young age, Comparatively, you know, he became the manager of this uh, store here on uh, Fremont Street. And uh, he's obviously trying to protect those crumbs of his. Possibly it's one of Nimchik's slips. Because if you see other videos, you know that they've uh, reached out to me on TikTok. I wouldn't be surprised if they're watching this TikTok live right now. They were before. They tried to set me up a week ago. I didn't fall for it. Let's go! So yeah, if we can get one of the, uh, we'll wait outside of here until we can get either one of the managers or an employee and we'll ask them some questions. Uh, like when was Nimchik here? How long did he stay? Why is he still allowed in the store? You know, why do you love criminals so much? Why do you support Stolen Valor, 9-11 charity fraud, and why did you fire me for doing the right thing? Questions like that. And of course, we'll also be looking for the police who were complicit um, in covering up the assaults against me by Mark Nimchik's thugs. In the meantime, there were people watching. That security guard has the Arcadia logo on his back. Um, I'll just talk about this for a second. So yeah. So yeah, the um, like I said, Arcadia Security has always been in this store, and they were there before and after Mark Nimchik. Yeah. At least four of those guards, I can confirm by evidence posted publicly, were working actively supporting Nimchik. Um, Kevin Peridowski, who claims to be a former Marine, who is working with one of the most notorious uh, Stolen Valor scam artists in the country. Uh, wrote on his TikTok account that uh, friends of Pops had given him information on the night of July 29th. And July 29th was uh, the day that I was handcuffed by police uh, two blocks that 
the corner of Fremont Street and Casino Center with uh, the direct cooperation of uh, two Arcadia security guards who I had known to work in this Walgreens while I worked in this Walgreens and while uh, the whole Nimchik saga had played out. Mm, here's a whole bus full of tourists getting off. This is uh, 4th Street. Down this way, if you can see the street right there, that is uh, the famous uh, Las Vegas Strip, Las Vegas Boulevard. And if you follow that street, turn right on it, it'll take you all the way down on uh, Las Vegas Boulevard, down the strip to all the major casinos, and uh, it'll also take you to the intersection of Las Vegas Boulevard and uh, Harmon Avenue, where Nimchik has been known to be scamming consistently since uh, mid-August. Um, But it would be pretty incredible if we found him at this place, at this time. You never know. Real reason I'm here is to kind of focus on the Walgreens. I need to see all the employees, all the managers who are coming and going. So I can confirm later that they... Or I uh, can confirm later that they might have uh, seen Ninchik in the store. Like I said, reports are that uh, Kiana Alexandria Music yelled at him to leave the store. Um, earlier, but also that he's been back in the store within the last two weeks. One of the most notorious scammers in America in this very store, quite recently. And I uh, will hope to see him soon. Perhaps not here. In the meantime, we're making people uncomfortable. We're putting pressure on the Walgreens. We have no fucks left to give. Security guard, visibly nervous. Security guards down there. Still in groups of three, which is unusual. I expect to see LVMPD come up on me any minute. Perhaps to hassle me about my sign. But we'll see. At any rate, we'll get them on the live. It's also possible that they're watching. And so they don't oh, want to. Oh yeah! Not mine, because I didn't serve. But uh, no, I did not. But I'm. But this is not. But this should affect all Americans, not only uh, military but civilians. It's about this man. Maybe you've seen him on the street. Oh yeah, a lot of it. Read all about it. That's a typical kind of reaction. You know, very very short attention spans here. That's why I try to keep the sign, that's why I kept that sign, you know, brief as possible. Most of the people, the locals in Vegas, uh, you know, can't uh, really focus on anything for more than about five seconds. 
hopefully they read at least the first line of the sign where it says uh, Stolen Valor. You know, if, if they can read. Can't make any assumptions in this town. Let me turn the camera around for one quick second. And then you can you kind of see me. And yeah, what's going on is uh, we're looking for, well, what's going on is that I've got information that Nimchik was in the store, which I didn't know um, as recently as two weeks ago. So I'm standing in front of the store now to try to uh, question employees or managers about uh, why that is and what they think of it. What else is going on is that we're kind of basically waiting to get hassled by police because police uh, have given every indication that they protect Nimshay. But now I've put them in kind of an uncomfortable situation where they either have to leave me alone and let me stay out here with the sign, which they don't want, or arrest me, which they can't do, because I'm not doing anything illegal, and if they do, it'll just make us, you know, draw more attention to it. And I would actually love to get arrested on some trumped up charges. Probably won't be, but you never know. Is this my calling in life? No, it's my calling of uh, the last uh, five and a half months of my life. It should be uh, yours too, if you're an American, because this guy is basically uh, rubbing shit in your face. What did he do? Look him up. He's a scammer of the worst kind. How much time do you have? What's on the sign? Let me turn it around one more time. That's that sign. I'll just put the phone down and I'll turn around. The basic information of Mark Nimchik is that he's a scammer. He's been involved in the 9-11 charity fraud of 2013. And he's come out to Vegas since 2016. Take a screenshot, because I'm going to get up soon. The picture of that sign is all over social media. If you watch any of my videos, uh, you've probably seen it. It gives the basic information about what he did. It says, uh, beware of Mark Nemchik and three bullet points. First one is a infamous scammer hustling Fremont Street. The second one is uh, he um, so, sorry, a little bit distracted. Um, second one was that he um, was convicted in 2013 of uh, the 9-11 truck scam. Stole $121,000 over two years by pretending to be a uh, charity for 9-11 victims and families with a partner who was a three-time uh, Megan's Law violator, um, child sex offender, 
If you've ever seen the uh, show To Catch a Predator, that's basically what his partner did, Thomas Scalgioni. If you look up uh, on Google any of the major uh, news that was uh, 10 years ago about uh, the 9-11 truck scam, you can read all about it. Um, Thomas Scalgioni did uh, four years in prison for his most recent Megan's Law violation where he was talking to uh, an undercover officer who he thought was an underage girl and who he was going to meet for sex. That's the man who Mark Nemchik got into bed with, quote unquote, for the 9-11 scam. And the Walgreens is where he would come every night also in order to scam in a different version of that scam. I'm sorry, um, if I'm not answering your... Uh, I just realized I've been kind of looking around a little bit and I'm not answering many of your um, uh, uh, questions here. And why are you doing this on Fremont Street is the most recent one. Well, where else would I do it? Why am I doing it on Fremont Street? Because this was his hunting ground for many, many years. His main hunting ground in Vegas. And this Walgreens that you're looking at is where I worked since um, November of last year and where I first noticed him because he was a nightly customer on my shift, which was from 4 p.m. One of the most notorious scammers in America for stolen valor, who is not in prison, was right there. And I took money from him as a cashier. Yes. Where is he now? He's somewhere nearby. I haven't seen him. Like I said, the reason I'm here is because I got a report that he was here two weeks ago. Which means that he's probably thinking that it's safe for him to come back here. But even more recently than that, I filmed him on the uh, Las Vegas Strip. And I posted other videos about that. So I would guess at the moment he's probably asleep. But in a few hours he'll be scanning again. Possibly here. Possibly on, Fremont, or on uh, the Las Vegas Strip. Or possibly at one of the, um, you know, combination uh, Walgreens or grocery stores, um, particularly uh, Centennial. Um, what's that Walgreens? That uh, what is it? Centennial Center. He's known to frequent. I posted about that on Twitter after I got a tip. I confirmed that he'd uh, been there from customers and employees that he was uh, scamming outside of their store and uh, I put the word out there and he doesn't come there anymore basically anywhere he goes I uh, try to get the word out so that he won't come back and it's not um, a safe space for him and yeah that's a long answer to your question of uh, why I'm on Fremont Street So I'm trying to stop him from scamming, yes. And I'm trying to get the word out to you so that in case you uh, come to Vegas, you won't get scammed. Or if you don't come to Vegas, you can call your local media and tell them he's here so uh, we can get attention on it and get him arrested and put in prison where he belongs because uh, local Las Vegas police are protecting him. That sounds crazy, but it's true. And I got proof. Watch my videos. What are you doing? Oh. Yeah. Hi there. Hey. I am. Um, well, check this out. <laughs> I was just uh, finishing something here. Yeah. And uh, he uh, oh, man. been to White Cat. I have been to the White Castle. I don't. I'm not. I'm not a big fan. I like the. I like a thick burger. Why am I so mad at him? Because he's a scammer. He's a stolen valor scammer. He's one of the worst um, criminals in America who's not in a cell. 
That's why. How does he scam? He pretends to be... Uh, well, currently, he has a new large sign. If you watch my video from the strip, um, he says that he... It's a very large sign, very blatant. And it says, uh, Disabled uh, Firefighter from 9-11. And he puts up that sign, and he puts out a donation bucket, and he wears a vest with three emblems of the NYPD, FDNY, and uh, Port Authority of Newark, New Jersey, with uh, the text underneath it in big bold letters, Heroes of 9-11. This design, these graphics, are the exact same ones that he used in the now infamous 9-11 truck scam that you can read all about if you just Google his name. I'm talking uh, USA Today, CNN, Time Magazine, CBS, NBC, basically every major news outlet nationally and slightly, slightly before that every major news outlet in New Jersey by some very, uh, you know, intrepid journalists there that broke the story after the real Navy SEAL, Don Shipley, uh, exposed him as a fraud because Mark Nemchik was pretending to be a Navy SEAL as part of the scam. When in fact, uh, Mark Nemchik is not a Navy SEAL. Um, he never served in the, in the United States military, unless uh, you uh, take into account the six weeks of boot camp he did before he was kicked out. And the details of that are given uh, by Don Shipley in uh, some of my videos. If you just search for the ones where uh, Don Shipley is talking. Uh, where is he at? I don't know. The reason I'm here today is to see some uh, managers coming and going from this Walgreens only because I just got word that he'd been here two weeks ago. I wonder, I get a lot of comments about, you know, the quality of the, uh, the video. I think that maybe the camera is just dirty. Let me clean it. It's... I wonder if that's any better. I mean... The video quality seems fine to me. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Anyway, since uh, I've been walking around looking this way for a while, that's Fremont Street. I'll just turn the camera around for a second. I'll show you. Mark Nemchik, somebody asks in the comments, believe it or not, I made a whole video titled, you guessed it, who is Mark Nemchik? I suggest you go watch it. Um, he's a scammer. 
a notorious scammer. Ten years ago, he was convicted of uh, what we call the 9-11 truck scam that made national news. He uh, went under the radar when he came out here to Vegas. And then he resurfaced when I was able to identify him based on uh, some writing on the back of his vest. Um, back in uh, April of this year. And a uh, whole lot's happened since then. I don't want to bore you with the details, but you can <laughs> you can look at my other videos and read all about it if you're interested. My live quality is good. Thank you. Who is Mark N? Again, again, guys, if you're asking who is Mark Nemchik, look on my videos. I literally made a whole video. Believe it or not, it took me 20 hours of solid work. The title of the video is Who is Mark Nemchik? If you want to know who is Mark Nemchik, I would suggest you watch that video and you Google Mark Nemchik. He's a scammer from New Jersey, made national news 10 years ago for a 9-11 truck scam involving stolen valor, charity fraud, um, anti-Muslim hate speech, not only in New Jersey, but in New York on Ground Zero. Washington, D.C., Long Island, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Michigan, among others. Those are event sites that we can uh, say were the key to the scam. We got a free prayer. Come on, it's free. Come on. Can I be honest with you? What? I am a hard-nosed atheist. Oh, really? And I would love to debate you. <laughs> oh, you want to debate me? I would love okay, to. Yeah. And that, but this is not what this is about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to get into it right now. No, but okay. Maybe I'm, another time. I'd like to hear you out. I mean, for a second, while I am waiting for police, I mean, why oh, not? Yeah. This, is is a good, this is a good a place as any. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people, thousands of people. Do you guys want to hear a debate between an atheist and a theist? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so give me your best argument for God. The argument for God? Best argument. Okay. Convince me. Because I don't I'm not convinced. Well to me, it's like a relationship. It's not really like a religion, you know? Like it's not really like I believe this so I can go to heaven. It's like a relationship. Like I'm with like But God. I've had relations. I've had relationships, right? Yeah. But this So I know what those are like. Yeah. But I don't know. It's like a father. It's like a father. What a, what a relationship with God would be like? Because okay. you can't see him. Yeah. You can't hear him. Yeah. Uh, I understand that. So, ha, ha, but and, and here's the question. Okay. You've you have you have a relationship with him, right? Yeah. How do you know it's him? I don't know. How do you know Acts. it's him and not something in yeah. your own mind? Yeah. Well, it's X. Like it's there's like. Acts of God. Or, 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 God. or how do you know it's not the devil? Not the devil? Yeah. How do you know it's not well, this is what's called spiritual warfare. How like, are you are you 100% certain that it's God you're talking to? Oh yeah. How do you know? Prayer. Yeah. yeah. Like then 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 why haven't I been able to talk to him? Your faith. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, so it's my problem, right? No, no. There's, there's a Bible verse, right? It's called. It basically says, "Power is made perfect in weakness." And it basically says, "You may not hear from God, but that's just God working in your life. He's trying to. He's making a testament, a story in your life." But I haven't heard him. Yeah, but he's still there. Like love, God's love for you is uncomprehendable. How do you know that? Because he died on the cross. For you. How do you know that? Because he did. He doesn't like to prove it. He doesn't want the same for you. He doesn't want anything negative. That's just, that, that's a claim. Yeah. That's but a true. That's a claim I've heard yeah. thousands of times. Yeah. But, but I but I need evidence. 
Give it to me. I'm, 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 that's all I want. Okay. I was about to take my life in the moment. Literally there. I'm going to take my life. And I heard from God. And he said, look to your right. And look at that melting stone. And I saw water drop with every other reflection. And it was beautiful. And God said, this season will pass. You will move. And I'm alive today because of that. Yeah. That happened to me too. That is the best evidence that I can give in my life. Yeah. I am alive because of God's love for me and He spoke to me. How do you know it was God? I do. I can't. It's hard to. You yeah. have to believe in your like. It's in your heart. I have to believe in order to believe. Yes, it's complicated, but the nature of it is that you have to give God your heart. Yeah. You have to. Well, 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 I'm sorry, I should have said, asked this first. Okay. Uh, which God? Which God? Which God? What do you mean by that? Like well, you say God. Well, there are many gods that people talk about. Which God are you worshiping? The God. The one which which God. one? The Christian God, the only God. God but the God who created heavens and the earth. But you know that there are 8 billion people in the world. Yeah. Do you know how many of them are Christians? Three. 3.2 billion that don't ever heard of them. That's, that's pretty generous. I would say, yeah. you know, practicing with less than two. Yeah. Yeah, but more or less. But still, it's a minority. Yeah. So if God is real, uh, if, if your God is the God, yeah. why is he so, why does he suck at telling people his message? Why is only 30% of the world believing what you believe? Yeah. And, and by the way, yeah. You're one, one Christian, you know, denomination. Yeah. Why are Christians are so divided? We're ambassadors of Christ. We're not really denomination. Are you, are you Catholic? No. no we're not Catholic. denominational, meaning that we are just talking about God's. Kingdom. Well, Catholics say that they are people and Jesus. What you say? So you're saying that they're lying? What you say? You said that. Well, Catholics say that they're the only way to. Understand and have a relationship with Jesus. Yeah. That's you're, their own opinion. But, but you're not Catholic. Yeah. No, Catholics no, are not Catholic. So you're saying that Catholics are lying. No, Catholics are very different from us. Catholics, that... okay, but Catholics are saying you're lying. Yeah, they can say that. And you're saying they're lying. So who should I believe? Believe whatever you want. Free will. I don't God. believe either of you. I don't believe in God. <laughs> hey, you're, you're trying to convince me of God, remember? Hey. Hey, we're just we're just offering. We're not trying to. We like to convince you, but we're just offering like free prayer. Offering what? Free prayer. We're just offering. We're just trying to. I don't believe in God, so why would I? Why, why do I want a free prayer? I don't believe prayers mean means anything. Yeah. Right, we're just trying to tell people about God. Tell them who He is. Have you ever heard a good? Have you ever heard a good explanation of what the gospel is? Yes. What is that? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, the God, you know the gospel. Well, I thought you meant like, have I read the gospel? No, like, you, you know fully. Have you yes. ever heard the gospel from a Christian? Have you ever like said Many, no? many, many times. <laughs> yeah. Can I tell you? Because some Christians, like each Christian's got a testimony like her, each perspective. Some Christian, I don't know. Why? If, why is that? If there's one God, yeah. why are there, why isn't there just one Christian church? All right. Why doesn't God come down to us and say... Because that's how it's been through history. The truth. That's how... In this time, that's why it's been through history, you say. Yeah. But guess what? That means that it's made up by people. Yeah. Just like yeah. everything else in history. So why did World War II happen? Because of people. Free will. Why did the Christian church happen? Because of people. Yeah. Why did Adam and Eve God was free? You, and then... you heard that? Obvi you said obviously. No, That's I mean, not obvious to me. <laughs> I was just saying, in our faith, we believe that God made Adam and Eve the first. Right, but I don't believe your faith, so how can you demonstrate that? Okay, just, just listen for a second. I'm just trying to get to my point. But I've heard it. I, 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 I know the story. You don't have to explain it. What's your evidence? No, of? I'm trying to tell you, like, asking about church. I'm well, vicious, so aren't I? I've had this debate thousands of times. How many times have you guys had it? A lot. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Matt is asking, what is 
What is your experience with Christians? How have they treated you? Christians? Yeah. Have they treated you nice? I'm 41 years old. Yeah. I've met every kind of Christian whoa you can imagine. Yeah. These are Christians. These are friends too. Oh yeah? Yeah. Good. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Yeah. I would explain. There's not good. Some Christians can be bad. They can just straight up say to you, you're going to hell. They may not just tell you the love of Jesus Christ. Is that, is that kind of thing that people say to you? I have had experiences yeah. and relationships with Mormons, yeah. Evangelicals, Catholics, uh, Episcopalians, which is my own background in my family, okay. Methodists, yeah. uh, Church of Christ, Baptists, yeah. Orthodox, every Christian sect you can imagine. Okay. I have had some interaction with, and I've probably had interactions with people of other religions. Yeah. That you've never had, <laughs> because I've lived overseas for uh, about seven years of my life. Okay. And uh, so when I say like, which God? Yeah. It's not like you said. Obviously, it's not Christian, but it's not obvious because most people on the earth ain't Christian. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And they never have been. Yeah. So why does? Why is God so bad at communicating with people? Yeah. That's what I it's called um, it's called the problems of um, the problem of divine silence. Okay. Right? We can't hear it. I I when I was very young I tried to talk. Okay. Because my parents told me maybe he's trying to talk. Yeah. How much, and I just felt kind of stupid and I didn't hear it. How much faith did you put into it? What does that mean? Faith? Yeah. That's like understanding Jesus truly loves you. Okay, so if I told you that there was a teapot yeah. that was uh, evolved, that was going in orbit around yeah. the earth. Yeah. It's been there for billions of years. Yeah. Four billion years. Yeah. It's when the earth was formed in the science. Yeah. You can't see it. Okay. But there's a teapot okay. in space going around the world. Okay. You can't see it. Yeah. But it's there. Okay. And I'm telling you this. Okay. You have to have faith in the deep. Do you believe it? Faith just in you. No, no, in the teapot. In the teapot. There's a teapot that's just in the hill. No, no, in the teapot. In the teapot. There's a teapot that's four billion years old. Yeah. That's revolving around the earth. Yeah. Yeah. But God. What does God have? A lie. Perfect. He's changed my life. Perfect. My story. Perfect. Okay. Can I tell me a story? That's special pleading. Yeah. I want evidence. Evidence? Okay. Your, your story yeah. relates to you personally. Well, how can I give you evidence right now? I have a story about, say it. you know, something that happened to me. Okay. okay. If I say, if I say, um, I met Michael Jackson. Okay. It's not true, by the way. Okay. <laughs> but if I said I did. Yeah. I'm sure you say you don't believe me. You said that it well, happened. If I said... That's well, not a lot of faith in believing. Okay, bad example. I'll start okay. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I said I met um, Donald Trump. Okay. Would you believe me? I don't know. He's a pretty confident guy to me. Okay, so what would you ask first? Okay. You would ask for heavy things. Okay. Maybe a picture. Yeah. Maybe a letter from him saying Okay. Maybe a picture of us shaking hands. Some, some evidence. Okay. So I'm since you're saying faith. I'm asking for evidence. Okay. Not your personal experience. That's a picture. A picture of God? No, I mean like a picture of me praying for God. A picture of actor God. A picture of an act of God. Yeah. Or a picture of me praying for God. Yeah. I've read the Bible, never seen it. What is it? I mean, I can go to India also and see evidence of Krishna. Uh, there's no evidence. But there's no evidence of it. Because I'm coming from an Hindu background. That's why I brought it up. Yeah. But there are people in India who will say they believe in Krishna, they've seen Krishna, and they have evidence of Krishna. 
No, they won't say evidence of Krishna. They would say they believe in Krishna. Oh, no, no, they no, no. They will say they have seen him and talked to him. I, 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 I because I, I have been in India. I just came two years ago, so I know. I've also been to India. I know. And I know people about. who have seen and talked to Krishna. So they say. So they say. But I don't believe them and I don't believe you. Yeah. I think. You've experienced, I'm not calling you lies. Okay. I'm saying you've experienced something. Yeah. But I'm asking you, how do you know it's God? Okay. How do you know it's not, for example, the devil? How do you know it's not chemicals in your brain playing tricks on you? Okay. Or how do I know you're not just telling a lie? Yeah. No, it's, it's our own, that's the thing with God. You know, He has the reason He has made which humans, God? Any God. Let's, which, let's talk God? about any God that which, you're thinking but, but, about. But, but, which God do you believe? I believe in Jesus right now. I believe in. Okay, Jesus. so the so the generic uh, Christian. I believe in Jesus. I don't believe in Christianity also. I believe in Jesus. Yeah. Christianity, Hindu, Muslim are done by humans. So but not, I believe not in Catholic, Jesus. Not Catholic. I said no religion. Not, not Baptist. Those are all religions. That's funny because like most Christians in the world are actually Catholic. Yeah. See, and, 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 and they say that the real Jesus is the Catholic Jesus. And it's your heritage. Well, that's fine. That's so why do people why say. Why do Christians say that each other are liars? Why does it? See, that's what humans say. I'm, I'm coming back to your point again. Okay. So we humans, God created us in his own image. The beautiful Can part about that? the beautiful part about it is, is that he has given us free will. So you can free choose. Will. Yes, you free will? Can. Yes. Yeah, he loves wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold on. You said a guy gives us free will. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Really? Free will to say this. So let me really? continue. Let me um, continue with this. So so um, in your Bible, right there, I think it's one of the Bible. Um, both the Old Testament and the New Testament said that slavery is okay, right? Uh, How do you square slavery with free will? Like if I was your slave, do I still have free will? God, that is human. Can, can is... I make you my slave right now? Human as human you can make, but not God. As if human I you make can make you my slave, slave, you can. And I put the hole through your ear, you like it says in the Bible, and I hammer that thing to your hole. You can. So if you're my slave, and I can beat you anytime I want, do you have free will? You're mixing God and human again now. Yeah. No, I'm not. The Bible says slavery is okay, Bible, and God, you can beat, no, beat it your slaves say, anytime you want. It does not say slavery is okay. It does. It does. Jesus himself, in the Gospels, what says... Is? Okay, give me a second. It says, slaves, obey your master. No, wait, no, wait, wait. That's Paul. Jesus, in the red words, says... Um, you you should do better than me. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that say that. That's what I'm You're saying. The in so, those so, so, in those but, days, slavery is were okay for humans. No, that's not what the Bible. The Bible doesn't say in those days. The Bible says period. No. Yes, no. Sir. I think we should understand that. So, so, so where does the Bible me, say that this, come back to the this old rule topic. expires at, at this date? Okay, let me come back to the whole thing again. Okay. That God has given us free will. Okay, so we can choose. You can choose whether to believe God or not. If I'm we a can't slave, force you. Right? Yeah. If you're a slave to a human, you don't have free will. That's so sure. why does the Bible allow slavery? But with God, but with God, you know, Bible doesn't allow slavery. It does. Yeah. It absolutely does. Exodus uh, 21, uh, 14. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, okay. I gotta be careful about that. <laughs> I don't want this to fly on the ground. No. But um, yeah, Exodus uh, uh, 21, uh, 14 says, uh, you know, sla uh, if you're a slave, um, you do such and such, you can beat him. Uh, uh, it has rules. But it has oh, rules. Yes. So you can beat him just enough to, to teach him a lesson, but you can't kill him, right? You see slave. that? You see that? How God loves? That's, he that's, loves even the slaves. That's evil. That's no, evil. No, no. You're, you're to feed a slave is evil. To have you can, a slave is evil. You can, you can choose to read that is Bible. an evil book. And these to, are evil ideas. You can choose to read Bible in your own way. And you can try to dismiss them and say, oh, that was a long time ago. But they're in your book. They're in your book. God does not permit anybody to take it does. It says if you beat your slave and he dies, there are punishment. You have to 
What if a slave dies, you have to pay his owner. What verse? Where, where does it say that? What, Exodus 21, 14. I'm going to look that up. Look it up. There are, there are rules like that. That is What he's saying is why there are rules like that. But, but God is not saying you should kill. That's God saying It says you can, and if you do, you got to pay a little fine. And do you know that this scripture says also, when you kill somebody... Also, in the Israelites' uh, country, Jericho, it also said you could kill. It actually, God actually ordered the Israelites to kill infants. In cold blood. I think I think you're, you're misinterpreting the. Do you want the verse for that? I'll teach you some more too. Oh, oh, there's that one other where it says that uh, it's Romans. Uh, you probably know this one. It says anything you pray for will be granted. All right. When you pray to kill somebody. No, no, no. It says anything you pray for will be given. If you have Jesus in your heart, you will pray for anything that is bad. Okay, so, are you a football fan? Are you a football fan? No. Are you? Yeah. What's your favorite team? Steelers. Steelers? Yeah. I'm from Washington, D.C. Oh, oh, no, no, sorry, Generals. General. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, the Bible says that anything you pray for will be granted. Okay. Automatically. So if you pray for the Steelers, okay. and I pray for the, for the general, yeah. how can God grant both of our prayers? Well, that's not of God's plan. You dig? Okay, well, let's, that, let's, that's not going to benefit the kingdom of let's God. Let's say the two countries are at war. Yeah. And I'm praying for one to win, and you're praying for another. Okay. But the Bible says that God grants all prayers. Okay. How can he grant both prayers if both sides are at war? Well, they both can't win. Well, country, <laughs> well country's not going to benefit the kingdom of God, only the people are. So what he's That's not what it says. It says any prayer you make, if yeah. you sincerely believe, yeah. you make a prayer, he'll grant it. Okay. But then that's the people. So how can he make both sides win a war when they're fighting each other? Do you believe in both I don't believe any God ever has. I think that I think the religion of the delusion. Yeah, I think it's something that's brainwashed into you from a young age usually. Or it can be put into your head because of um, trauma. Uh depression, uh, a death in the family, uh, major financial loss, divorce, uh, any going to prison. A lot of people become Christians in prison, you know? Yeah. But it's very rare that a non-believer would say, you know what? My life is pretty okay and well adjusted and I'm happy. But I'm just gonna decide to become a Christian. That never happens. It's always because they go crazy and they say, oh my god, my life is out of order. I can't I can't see clearly. I I I need something or else I'm gonna kill myself. So I guess I'll just pick up the, the closest religion to me. Because it gives me some kind of meaning that I, don't, that I need in my life. That's yeah. how people become religious. That's how you became religious, isn't it? That's just you opinion. had some trouble in your life. And so you reached out for an anchor. And there were people next to you. No, they didn't. There were other people speaking next to you, and they told you that you was can, God. You can believe but what you believe, but you're not going to change anything. You were, you were feeling sad. Hey, don't and, it, and it gave you uh, a temporary kind of delusion where you thought you heard something. So what you're saying is, right? Right? Okay. right? Come on. Okay, let you me, seem simple. Okay, let me, let, right? me, let me ask you this. You yeah. mean we were in trouble, and then there's a God from Christianity that saved us, right? Yeah. Are you satisfied with your life? No. Because Mark Nature is still on the streets. So do you... We're using prison all the time. So... So that is what you're saying, but, that you don't have any trouble in life. I mean, obviously I'm joking, but no, there's wars, there's poverty, there's disease. What about your life? Are you having any trouble My in life, your personally, life? Personally, of course, everybody has trouble. Then yeah. why don't you believe in Jesus? If we believe in Jesus, now it's not the evidence of him. That's fine, man. That's How fine. Do, we have the I said the conversation. Who is Jesus to you? <laughs> He's nobody. I don't believe he was real. Yeah. What do you know about Jesus? I'm a mythicist. I don't believe he was a historical figure. Okay. I think that uh, it was invented probably between 60 and 80 CE. So you're saying you don't know anything? It about was this. a no. I know a lot. Well, say that. 
it was a conglomeration of various creatures who were alive at the time. Yeah. Many of whom were actually Christians. Yeah. Probably hundreds of them, because the Romans were very brutal against anybody who was, you know, a troublemaker. Okay. Kind of like I'm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm actually at war with the police. Though. They don't want me to be there. Okay. And I'm part of the reason I'm here is because they've been protecting him on this street for seven years. That's a different story. Oh, that's awesome. The point is that um, many, uh, you know, Jewish preachers. Yeah. In the Roman province of Judea, yeah. would have been preaching against Roman rule at that time. Yeah. And probably hundreds of thousands of them were crucified. Yeah. And many of them probably had um, a good number of followers. Yeah. Who were crucified? Different Jewish preachers. Why would they be willing to be crucified? They weren't willing. They were arrested by the Romans. But they could have said, okay, I don't believe in Jesus. Please don't believe Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't about Jesus. They were buried at the same time as Jesus. Within a 50-year period. You know, before and after what we call the year zero. Was a very um, unstable time. In that time and place. Yeah. Uh, Jews in the province, the Roman province of Judea, yeah. were making plans for revolution. Okay. Right? And the Romans would identify the leaders of those before they got popular, if they could, yeah. or after they got popular, and just kill them. Okay. And the problem so the peasants go back to the field. Yeah. Instead of Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. you're right, you're right. Yeah. Okay, kill that leader. Okay. Kill him. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Put him on the stick. Put him on the cross. Yeah. Yeah. And there were hundreds of, we know we have historical evidence there were men knew that crucifixion was the you know, like official way that Rome's executed. The same as we do these objections today. Yeah. With our government, that's the way Romans did execute. Okay. So many thousands of men and women were crucified. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. Not only one Jesus. Yeah. That cross symbol is not special yeah. at all. Yeah. So but that's why the reasons he was crucified were political. Yeah. But he was using religious terminology to try to rally the people. I was like, yeah, let's fight back against these fucking soldiers, right? Yeah. So they couldn't. But, the, but, it wasn't, but that didn't mean he was the son of God. Okay. That just means he was a troublemaker who was preaching a revolution against Rome, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's reality. That's reality. That's, his, that's history. Yeah, and then you don't believe that. But right? you guys, no, I do. That's, that's real history. Romans. That's why Jesus is not because. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Jesus wasn't true, but other Jewish preachers absolutely were. And they absolutely were crucified. Yeah. But there's but no evidence of a man them. called Jesus. Not there's no evidence that he died. And there sure as hell is not the evidence that he was born from the dead. Or did miracles. Or did miracles. No, there isn't. To be some historic group who were alive, what? not Christians, yeah. not Christians, but there are people who are oh, all like Tacitus, maybe. Uh, no. Like can, a Dead Sea, like a Dead Sea Scroll. Yeah, sneak sauce. You can say, you can say, no, we don't, we don't approach it. But right now, right now, if you want to get into Tacitus and you want to get into uh, you Josephus, you can, we can do that, but I can destroy you. You can yeah, because you don't want to be. You are good, you can do it. That's fine. You, but you see, what you said you knew a lot about Jesus. Oh, yeah. Can you say, say it? But, let, yeah. Let's be clear. I don't need Jesus for real. I know a lot about the Jesus as written 50 years after the supposed attack. Okay. In the gospel. Okay. Yeah. Sure, I know. Let's say it. Do you have evidence of him earlier than that? Can, can, can yeah. that. By the way, who can tell me? Raise your hand if you can tell me. Class, who can tell me which of the four Gospels was earliest? Earliest. Luke. Eh. 
But anyways, you don't believe in that. Even if you say Which that. of the four Gospels were written first, according to every biblical scholar? They all agree. Which one? Uh, <laughs> How do you know that? If you never read the Bible. Every oh, biblical scholar agrees. Yeah. Because of philology, textual analysis, hermeneutics. Yeah. Anybody know? Want to take a guess? Not Luke. Three, three more left. Which one? Earliest gospel. I think we need to go also. Uh, but, but before that, before okay, we it's wind up, it's Mark. Okay, before we wind up, I want to conclude with this one. It's far and away, dear. I, yes. I believe you have gone. And John through, is the latest. I believe you have gone through some hard times. That's the reason you don't want to believe in God. I believe you're going through some delusions, and that's what you do. I mean, it's okay. Maybe we are wrong. That's fine. We might be wrong, but. Right? According to what I hear from you, you have some kind of hatred towards God. That's oh, why you don't want to believe. All this chicken that's that's fine. Fine. Oh, that's no, yeah. I don't that's believe fine. in God. I but, hate it. But we just want to leave by saying this one. I want evidence. That's all. That's fine. Evidence. Just give me your evidence. You have an evidence that's of the air also. We, that's a Dead Sea Scroll. The Dead Sea Scroll has nothing to do yeah. with uh, the New Testament whatsoever. Yeah. Those were by the Essenes, which were a pre Christian set. The Dead Sea Scrolls are pre Christian. Yes. They have, they, they have nothing to do with yeah. the Yes. Do you know what you have thinking is that part of your life? Of course. That is the evidence. Yes, I can see it on the news. Yeah. It's, it's horrific. Absolutely. Yeah, that is the evidence. And you know why? You know why that war and that hatred is there? Because both sides claim they're on God's side. If we didn't believe in God, we could all be one. We because we no, we're not. Jews and Muslims in 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 Palestine are killing each other because does. they say you believe in the wrong God. No, that's what religion is. That is true. That's what religion does. But if we all just said, hey, we're all just people, and we're natural, we were we evolved naturally from from an original ancestor, whether we're black, brown, or white, or original. An original like, group of no, no. You made this. An right? original group of human ancestors. Someone made this, right? Yeah. Someone made us. Yeah. No, no one comes out of like nowhere. No one comes out With of dinosaur. Or no one comes out ah, of. Ah, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. There is, is, is a, there is a, there is a God who makes. So this, there is a creator, right? This is my favorite argument because it's so easy to destroy. When you say. Nothing comes from nothing. You know what I gotta say, right? Who created God? God is the God. Oh! God. So if so, if God was uncreated, then there can be something that existed for eternity, right? That was uncreated, right? Right? I, I think this conversation so can go on. I believe. So why can't the universe? be uncreated. Like the, the matter that makes me up and you up and this side and that side, it was always here. It wasn't created. It always existed. Nobody created it because it always existed. You say that your God always existed. But then you say also, well, the world must become uh, must become God because nothing comes from nothing, right? Then what did God come from? Who created God? He created himself. Oh! What 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 year? Genesis. What? No, no. When? What year? In the beginning. What, which year? How do you know? Yeah. God yeah. created himself. Yeah. So he didn't exist. How could he create if he didn't exist? Oh, that's he. He made a big mistake there. No, that's not a mistake. You're not because supposed to say that. That's no, that's not doctor. You no, made a, a big. You made a big misstep uh, error there. God did not create himself according to your doctor. This one of the things that because you have a point, we have a point. Because we are not able to agree with any point. So we can keep on talking until tomorrow. But you claim you have the truth from yeah. God. Yeah, but, but you don't want to believe in so God. So why isn't it clear? No, 
because you don't want to be the Why does God tell me himself? Why does, why does God need you and you and you and you to give it to me? Okay, let's finish it. Let me finish it with this point. Okay, it can happen. Let me finish it with this point. I don't want it from you. I want it from you. Surely, surely, you'll get that. You'll get that. Let me finish Where? this. Let, let me tell you this statement. So, so why bother to tell me? Why does God send you to tell me? Why can't He tell me Himself? That's called the problem of divine silence. Look it up. Okay. If you ask for God or pray for God or, 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 or just have your ears open, and your Bible says God wants to have a relationship with you. Where the hell is it? Your wife won't talk to us, but you have a question, so you have to look for it. Why isn't he here right now talking to everybody? Why aren't all of us sitting in a football stadium? Listening to him talk. Can I, can I give you this example? Why does he talk to you and not me? Can I give you this example? That, that doesn't make any sense. Can I give you this example? That's crazy. Can I give you this example? If he was real, he'd be talking to me right now. Okay, can you just pause? I can help you. Okay. okay. For an example, if I, say, I love this, by the way, I'm having so much fun. Yeah, yeah, I, so much. I love it, I love it, but I don't want to take it into an argument because that's not what we're not here to argue. If I tell you that there is a, if you can tell you that there is a doctor who has given a medicine, who has invented a medicine for COVID or any kind of sickness, say imagine he has a solution for for my eye, okay, and he is the best doctor because I experienced it. Okay, and then I come to you and I say, hey, I know this doctor, he has helped me, would you like to go? If you go, you will experience it. If you don't go, you can say, no, I'm fine with that. It's absolutely fine. That's what we are doing right now. We have experienced it. Jesus? That's right. We have experienced No, you can argue with that, but we have experience. He has healed us. He has changed our life. He has given us salvation. He is speaking to us. Hold on. He is speaking to us. We can no, sense his presence. I, I have to stop it because no. you have had an experience. A lot. You had an experience. A lot of experience. You don't know who's Jesus. I know it. You can't prove it to you. I don't have to prove it to you because he has done it to me. That's no. enough. I don't have to prove it to you. I could have an experience. I could have you know, explosive diarrhea right now. Yeah. And I can call it Jesus, or I can call it Krishna, or I can call it Buddha. You can. You're just putting a label of Jesus on an experience yes. that you have. Yes, if you want to experience that, it's fine. Otherwise How can you prove it? I don't have to. to. And not just chemicals in your brain. I don't have to prove it because you've done it for my life. You don't have to prove, no, you, but you said you have to prove. That is not. So where is it? That's what I'm telling you. I don't have to come and tell you. The reason I'm telling you is because you've changed my life, and I want you to change your life. I don't have to prove. I can't it. see him. I can't hear him. I can't see the evidence of him. He's not real. That's fine. I don't have to prove it. That's funny. That's funny because. You know, a thousand years ago, Christians did believe they had to kill the That's very, that's very. And like, now people were killed in wars because they said, we will force you. And that was official doctrine. That does not relate right now with our topic. Oh, so God changed his mind over time. That is human, that's not God. So God changed his mind. That's human. Oh. So slavery is still okay. Human, yes. Not God. Okay, what do you stand on uh, the problem of evil? Do you have an evil? There is evil in the world, right? We're going to do it. The question is, do you believe that God is all powerful, omnipotent, right? And he's all good, right? Then why is evil in the world? So evil in the world. So a common question. So he's either impotent and too weak to stop the evil, or he likes the evil and he lets it happen. So for that you have to know the mind of God. So for that you have to experience God. And you can ask God. And he will reveal that. I don't believe in God. You have to prove There's no point for us to discuss. The problem of evil proves there is no God. That means you believe in evil. And you don't want to believe in God. That's what you're saying. So why does God allow evil? Does evil exist? Yes. But God exists. If evil exists, God exists. No, no. For me, evil does not exist. That's a terrible. You know what a syllogism is, right? A syllogism. You know what a syllogism is? 
Yeah. 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 Jesus College or like a real college? This is it's a missionary college. Okay, so like a real college, you do like a course called the logic. And one of the key things that comes to your French church is called the Sula District. It's very simple. It's like a trinity, you know, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. But we've got one fact we can all agree on. Like, for example, um, I'm a man, right? Can we all agree on a man? And uh, all men are mortal. Can we all agree that all men are mortal when we die? Yeah, it's a physical body. Okay. Yeah. So with those two, we say, because I'm a man, I'm a man, and because all men are mortal, therefore, See, the third leg of the stool is the therefore. Therefore, I am mortal. Okay. Right? So if you say, if your third leg is therefore, there is God, yeah. give me the two facts that we can all agree on that lead to it. You know, like, it's an intersection, a triangulation between two points. I'm a man. All men are mortal. Therefore, I am mortal. Okay? So if you say, you know, number one and number two, and then number three is, therefore, God is real, what are the first two um, premises, um, pre premises of that sort? In, in, in 5,000 years of human history, that simple question has been answered. And yet, the syllogism is the basis of all logic. I am a man. Yeah. All men are mortal. Yeah. Therefore, yeah. I am mortal. Okay. So I want you to do the same thing. Except that I want the third thing, the therefore, to be therefore God is real. Okay. So give me the first two facts. Well, triangle. The third God is real? Yeah. It's spirit. Heck no, that doesn't do it. It's, it's gotta real. be facts we all agree on. See, if you say, I have an experience, I had God talk to me, or I had Krishna talk to me. Well, we can't all agree on that, can we? That's just yeah. my experience. A lot of people like I've got to have this all agree. Right? Yeah. That's why we have these people missing. Because that is an object. So because they well, have, no, we have that because We have that because men decided to make it. Yeah, I agree. Right? Because now you say, I agree, I'm a human, I can die, I'm immortal. So we agree. And you don't agree, that's why they put it up and back to the track. Everyone so, no, it's not the same thing. Because why? I can tell you why we have A, B, and B, C. It's because men made up a calendar and a system of keeping time who were Christians and they identified a year or a day that they thought the end time was like the end time. That's the thing I'm saying. Time people do that. So when you say, when is when did God, was created oh, God, or when was God born? You can't answer that because time was created by man. But if God is real, wouldn't He want us to know? Wouldn't He want us to know as much as possible about Him? That's what you go to Him. That's why you pray. Yeah. Okay. Where is it? How do I? How do I do? This. The Spirit. So we just go right now. Come here and, 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 and tell me. If you if you're hungry, where do you go? Ah, where are you? He's right to proof the script. God, if you're real, if you're really real, I want you to come down here right now and show me. Show yourself to me. But he's real, right here. It's scripture. Like you said, you never read it. Like That's you... a book made by men. Yeah, but there's... God, where are you? Where is it? I don't see it. See, if you're hungry, you go to a restaurant. You just said if I call on him, I'll show him. I don't see it. Oh, wow. 
I'm vicious, sorry. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Do it not open to it. It's a logic. I open. I asked, I began this conversation by asking what evidence. Okay. Uh, what is the evidence? I've, I've seen a video recently. So you want evidence, right? Yes. So can you see sense? Like do you have sense? Yeah, like a common sense? Like can I see a smell or a... No, any kind of like common sense. Do you, do you sure. have common sense? Uh, well, 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 no, no, I gotta stop you there. Because that's common, what I'm saying. Well, oh, well, hold on, hold on. There are, there are things that oh, you cannot no, 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 see, but you still believe. Hold on, hold on. Common sense is subjective, not objective. Anything. For example, what that means. You say you have common sense, right? For example, um, a long time ago, I went to work in the oil field in North Dakota. Okay, okay. Hell of a place. And that's not my background. But I made the best of it, and I got used to it, and I worked my ass off, and I got a sense of But when I got there, there were a lot of guys who were my same age, yeah. who knew shit I didn't know. Like, um, how to repair a carburetor, for example, or how to uh, do shit with oil fields, yeah. or how to, um, oh, I don't know, uh, chop wood. They learned. And I didn't know that. Yeah. But to them, when I didn't know that, they would say, How do you not know this is common sense? Yeah. You don't know you don't know how to change a tire on a car? Yeah. I said, No, I, I never needed to. I lived in cities my whole life. I just dialed uh, triple A. Yeah. And they said, That's common sense. Yeah. Because they live in the country. Yeah. And they do it themselves. Yeah. So what's common sense to you? In your experience, it's not common sense to her, or him, or him, or me. And there's billions of people who have all these things. For example, for example, if I go to India, and I say, uh, you know, what do you think about, is Krishna real? And they'll say, of course, it's common sense. So because yeah. everybody, because everybody around them thinks the same, yeah. and that's common sense to them. You know, like more like uh, if you're a Muslim, yeah. do you know how to do the five prayers? Yeah. You know, they're complicated, yeah. and they've been doing them their whole life from birth. It's a lifestyle. To them, that's common sense. Yeah. But like in Christianity, is not it... to me or you or you or you or her. Yeah, yeah but it's a lifestyle. Me. What do I believe in? Truth, humanity, <laughs> rationality. I believe the basis of rationality is consent of an individual. I don't have a right to make you do something you don't want to do unless you do something that harms me or interferes with my freedom. That's the basis of my morality. My, that's the way I give meaning to the world in my own life. And that's not a new idea. You know, you think that there's no other way except God. But actually, morality Morality is actually a lot better than health. Okay, I respect that. Because my morality, I don't need to rely on an old brother that supports slavery. I don't support slavery. You guys do. Your book supports slavery. How do you know that? Anyways, because I've read your book. Can I, can I say something? Can I yeah. So, we're just here to give. And so, we, we love you. Yeah. But we're gonna have to move on with our day because we. You got free will. <laughs> you have to have your heart open to it, and we just want to love on you. You gotta have your mind open to rational thinking too. Right. I've asked you for evidence, and you can't give it to me. Yeah, so, so why should I be, believe your claims? We're gonna be done here. For now. You're, you're just making claims without evidence. Are we leaving? You're, yes. You're not. You're not going to convince anybody who's intelligent like or educated. You're just going to convince some very vulnerable, um, educated people. And that's kind of sad, and that's exploiting those people. And that's a form of evil. And by the way, what um, what denomination are you? Kingdom of God. We don't believe in Catholic. I didn't even notice your shirt. Oh, yeah. slavery. Yeah. <laughs> but, your, but your own book supports slavery. No, it doesn't. Jesus himself Listen. says that slavery is okay. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Read no, 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 your Bible. Read no. no, no, no. your Bible. Listen, what it is. What it is. It's humans. It's in the free will. Free will. God, God loved us so much, he gave us free will. 
because the devil. Yeah, Jesus that's, says earth. That's a special pleading. See, I don't believe in your Bible. Jesus never said slavery is okay. Jesus said you cannot serve your master who is yeah. God and money. So God can serve him. He can have a position, but cannot do permission to be a slavery to anyone. And slavery he cannot be a slavery he to anyone. He gives instruction. Where does it say that? Exodus 21, 14. That's not Jesus. That's the Old Testament. See, that's Old God. Testament people, also, in the see, New Testament, in, Testament, in Acts, uh, see, what in is Old it? Testament, people are to God. It's in all the four Gospels and that. In the Old Testament, people are to God in a different way, and they made their own rules. So God changed his mind? God did not change himself. So, so people just wrote books. God loves people and he wants us to live in a way that God has seen. How do you know that? Because God loves you. God wants you to live in a way that they that is can be perfect. You haven't even proved God is real. You can't say that God loves me. You have to prove he's real first. Oh, and uh, uh Proving uh, God's real. This is something like this. Oh, oh wait, wait, a uh, special pleading means when you say, well, I don't need to use the normal uh, strings of evidence because God is special. It means he doesn't, the rules don't apply to this argument. Okay. Like and if I, I say, that's someone else believing. do I have a sign? Yeah. I can test it by touching. Okay. But... That can be another Christian Is there a saying. God? Well, I can't touch him, yeah. but he's still real, but I'm doing special pleading because, yeah. you know, he doesn't obey the laws of the world. Yeah. Okay. But special pleading is a, it's called a logical fallacy. Okay. And if you, if you took a class on basic logic, you would understand that that's an obvious fallacy. Okay. You can't, it doesn't, it doesn't follow. Okay. It's irrational. Okay. I respect that. But like evidence. And everything you told me is essentially a very weak form of social media okay. that I've heard a lot of times. And like, you, you might have studied a little bit of apologetics, but yeah. I mean, nobody can beat me at apologetics. Oh, wow. But like, you would get like, we're not just, like a C minus. We're not trying to beat you in a debate. We're oh. just trying to spread like love. Like I've said. debated like A plus yeah. apologetics guys. You're like maybe a C minus. Oh, you might think that, but we're not trying to win a debate. We're just trying to love on you. We're just trying to. But you study are though. You studied apologetics. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. I've taken a school. We've both taken missionary school. But the problem with that is. It doesn't include logic. Okay, so that's what I mean. That's why you, you never. That. That's why you can never convince any educated person. Okay, you can believe that. That's why you target uneducated people. Okay. So you hope. Well, if I talk to a hundred people, yeah. I'm bound to meet a handful who are uneducated and know who to believe this stuff, right? We're just trying to spread love. We're not trying to just say. We can spread love all we want. Yeah. Let's take God out of it. Let's just be human. Yeah. Right? Let's just be human. Natural. Yeah. A natural world. Natural explanation. Yeah. We don't need to bring a God into it at all. Yeah. To love each other. But have you ever understood what the Bible says about love? Like, have you ever looked more into it? You said you know the Bible. Again, that's special plea because. I know what love is without the Bible. Would you want to know more about love? Love existed before the Bible. Oh, yeah? All right, man. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's been very yeah. interesting. Yeah. Maybe we can do this again. Well, we've been here like two hours. Yeah, maybe. we've been here a while. Yeah. I enjoyed every minute. I yeah. love it. I love it. Yeah. Are you here tomorrow? Probably. We can come. Yeah. Do you come here a lot? I used to. Yeah. The only reason I'm here today yeah. is because I got a tip or information that Nemchik had actually come back into the wall okay. uh last week. Okay. And, I'm, and I'm hunting that son of a bitch. Okay, I hope we're gonna we're gonna put him in prison soon. Nice. Nice. It, he made national news ten years ago. Put him up. Okay. Uh, it was an it was a 9/11 charity fraud in New Jersey. Pick okay. it up. Yeah, it's evil. Listen, you believe in evil? This guy is fucking evil. evil. This is the face of evil. Look in his eyes. That's the face of evil. Okay. You ever see him on the street? Uh, 
I have huge uh, social media problems. Give us a picture of that sign. Let me see it. Yeah. Alright, buddy. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Make it easy. Yeah, hopefully, we learned, John. hopefully we learned something from each other. Yeah, but we yeah. did. Yeah. We sure did. Yeah. And we had fun. Yeah, how about you see each other? We didn't get to play. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Make it easy. Are you guys still there? Yeah, so I got into a, uh, I don't know, maybe one or two hour uh, debate with some uh, Church of Christ missionaries back there. And it looks like I lost about I had like 300 follow or uh, uh, watches, but I guess uh, you guys got bored. Now I got 10. Anyway, uh, I'm I'm back to Fremont now. Yeah, that was a really uh, entertaining debate. The girl. I thought was really kind of uh, coming around to what I was saying. You know, she 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 was kind of thinking, like, yeah, it's not uh, not what it's all cracked up to be. Uh, this is America. This is America, and I have rights actually. And you can't tell me what to do or not. This is public street. And, uh, oh, that's right. Uh, fuck you. And so anyway, um, who is Mark Nemchik? Uh, you can do two things. Watch the video called Who is Mark Nemchik? Or just Google his name. He's a scammer. He was convicted of the 9-11 uh, truck fraud uh, scam 10 years ago in New Jersey in 2013, uh, sentenced in 2014, and uh, he came out here to Vegas in 2016. I was able to identify him in this Walgreens in uh, 2023, or 2020, uh, yeah, 2023, April of this year. And uh, a lot has happened since then. I don't really want to get into the weeds right now because there's some guy who's giving me the stink eye and making trouble about, you're filming on public. There's always somebody like that. You know, there's other, um, you know, TikTokers and YouTubers who've gotten the heat. There's always some asshole out here who's like, oh, you can't film me or something. When like half the people on the street have their phones out. Anyway, I got a picture of that guy, so I'll uh, I keep it and I'll see if I uh, see him later and see if he makes contact with uh, Nimchik's people. He's acting kind of suspicious because he keeps talking to security guards. Now he's talking to those two. I want to keep it on. I am a Right there. Like out of the blue, very suspiciously, he starts talking shit about cameras. 
I wasn't even pointing my camera at him. Anyway, fuck him. I got better things to do. Waiting for any manager from the Walgreens to come up. Maybe I'll just come back. Oh, there's no other player. What are you afraid of? I might call it a day. People I really want to find are either Cedric Moore. Let me go back to the sign because I want to. Uh, I did this before, but I just want to get his name. At the very front of the store here, it says Cedric Moore. That's the. Oh, let me close the door. Store manager at this Walgreens. That's the guy who is responsible for firing me and for. Uh, Protecting Mark Nemchik. I'd also like to spot Kiana Alexandria music coming out of the store. I need clear pictures. Also, any employee who wish to come out of the store, I would uh, be willing to talk to. But maybe I've made them uncomfortable enough. Let me just stand here for a second, make them more uncomfortable. That security guard's looking at me at the stink eye. I want to make him more uncomfortable. And then turn around with my sign to face him. So that my sign's facing the door. And all those pieces of shit that manage this store can know that I'm here. And I'm not doing anything illegal. Or disruptive. I'm an American standing on a public street. Holding a phone in my hand. And if anybody's got a problem with it, well, and if anybody's got a problem with it, you should move to another fucking country. Because in America, we're allowed to do this. And if you don't want to be filmed then don't walk on a fucking public street. Stay your ass home. So, let's make plans to... Uh, Come back another time for now. It's getting on to noon, and believe it or not, it's uh, mid-October, but it feels like it's about 100 degrees.
I'll keep the uh, lab going, even though my main purpose here is pretty much done for the day. Oh, look. And there's the police station. The police that have uh, been very, very buddy buddy with Nimchik for the entire time that I've known them here, which is since uh, November of last year, 2022. And they've been very buddy buddy with him since, along with security guards. Now well, let's walk back east on Fremont. Oh my god, it's hot. It's now late October. But honestly, it feels like July. I mean, it's so hot, you're just sweating in the shade, even standing still. And the sun is just beating down. There's not a cloud in the sky. Welcome to Las Vegas. Wait. So even though we didn't find anybody today, we'll be back. And uh, hopefully have another confrontation. Anytime that piece of shit Mark Nimchek comes back to the street, I'm going to know about it. And I'm going to be here with these two signs. And I don't care who tries to get in my way. I don't care who tries to stop me. I'm going to stand and I'm going to speak the truth. And I'm going to obey the law. And if passed as prologue, they won't. And they'll try to assault me violently. And this time I'll have it on camera. And this time the cops who've been uh, pretending that they can't find any video are uh, gonna get burned. Or maybe a couple of detectives, including Alan Hogan, OBMPD, will come to their fucking senses and find that fucking video and start protecting criminals and stolen valor. And start making excuses for why they can't do their job. Like saying half the people on Fremont Street are frauds, which I have him saying on camera in one of my videos. That's right. It's the one that's uh, 31 minutes long. And in about the middle of it, what he says is that Nimshek is a fraud, but half the people on Fremont Street are frauds. So he's saying that uh, Nimchik is a criminal, but because half the people on the street are criminals, it doesn't really matter. You know, he's above the law. Laws don't really matter. I mean, it's Vegas. It's Fremont Street. Except, it's funny because you arrest other criminals. So, so what's what's so special about Nimchik? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder.
What could it be? Could it be the big bucket of money that he collects every night through his grift and fraud and lying? And could it be that some of that money finds its way into other people's pockets? Could it be that he spreads it around and has been spreading it around as insurance for years? You be the judge. I spend a lot of time gathering evidence and laying it out. Not perfectly, but considering that I'm one guy doing it all himself, it's uh, it's pretty good, I'd say. So just check it out and make your own mind up. Do you want to see the uh, container park while I'm here? Harassment and bullying? Somebody flagged me for harassment and bullying? What kind of bullshit is that? What's that? Uh, oh, I wasn't going to go in today, maybe. But, uh, it's actually a good sign, though. What is it? Uh, it's about a scammer called Mark Nimchik. You might have seen him. That guy? I'm going to put my Oh, I see. Man, since it's operating broken. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, he. That is fucked up, bro. Oh. Damn, that's fucked up, bro. You want to take a picture of it? Look at his name. Right now, bro. I'm up on camera. It's such a it's such a hard name to spell, but if you can try to remember, guy's name, bro. All you got to do is Google that name. And you will see shit you've never imagined was possible. Okay. And this guy's been right here on Vimeo Street. I've been seeing y'all having your signs. It was online, so um, it's like you saw my shit online. I didn't see yours, but like I seen everybody um marching right up on this street, and it had like all their signs and stuff. I think it um happened a few days back, maybe. If it was a bunch of people, it, it was a bunch of people. It, bro. It, it wasn't about Nimchik, because uh, yeah, I'm not sure like uh, exactly what it was for. I thought it was maybe this, because I'm telling you, bro, it, they were like all the way down this like street though, and then like everybody had their signs. It was a, a lot of what was it about? Bro. I'm not I was, sure. I didn't really read <laughs> all the point. I just seen everybody trying to march for like their signs. Believe like, it or not, I just had like a two hour debate with like a. Uh, um, uh, Church of Christ, like religious uh, missionaries. Yeah. Oh yeah, I I, I I had the time of my life because I got to debate with four religious people and I just yeah. like ripped them a new one. <laughs> and I really, yeah, I, do, bro. I thought I reached some of them too, you know, but uh, it might have been them. But definitely it wasn't me. <laughs> is it just you having this sign, or is yep. it like the whole? No, it's all me. It's all me. Okay, so you, you I'm a one man show. Band, yeah, like unfortunately, but I but I do need help. If you uh, just Google his name, you'll find my social media, and I got I don't have a group, but I have a lot, a hell of a lot of views mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, activity. Okay. I and like he's, you, and this is a this is a Vegas so issue. This guy's been here seven years. Seven years. Scamming. So like. You know what stolen valor means? No. It means lying about being in the military. So he he does two things. Uh, he. He, he carries a bucket uh, for uh, collecting donations. He'd be, be hanging around here, though. The reason I'm here now is because I got word he was back. All right. Um, roughly two weeks ago. But I chased him out of here uh, at the end of July. And he's been on the strip as far as I knew. Gotcha. But then I got a tip that he That's came back here one time two weeks ago. So Can I'm see the, um, so I'm again? so I'm back. Yeah, I yeah. Never seen absolutely. Before. Wait, take all the, like the take all the time well, you need. Of like them, or is it just the one dude? Is it? Oh people? no, no. That that picture of those two guys is from ten years ago. That's called the nine eleven truck scam. That's oh, him. So you're doing two, the, two like no, 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 no. I'm doing the one guy oh, because gotcha. that's just the. 
See, see, that's the uh, New Jersey Attorney General's uh, press release because they did they did that crime together and it made national news and they were tried together. How's it going, y'all? Welcome in. Okay. But, I like uh, that though, man. I'm glad that you're but, like trying to help with all this weird, weird shit, bro. We actually need more. Uh, it's not of, just like, weird; like, it's evil. Shit. I know it's evil dishonest, shit, yeah. and it's it. It isn't just a scam, right? Mm -hmm. It's the worst kind of scam. Yeah. Because he's lying about being in the military, and he's lying about being a firefighter on 9/11. Damn. If you look at my videos, he's got a whole sign where he says, "I'm a disabled 9/11." Mm. How's it going, man? How yeah. sick is up, that? Right. Yes, sir. How about yourself? Cool. Yeah. Uh, now let's get back to it. Anyway, like I said, yeah. ten years ago, you made national news. You ever heard of USA Today? Yes. Time That's Magazine. Like, like, yeah. CNN. Yeah. NBC News. Yeah. All that. New York Times. Yeah. Philadelphia Inquirer. He made national news ten years ago. He got busted in 2013, convicted in 2014. Then he came out here. 2016, he's been scamming right under our noses. All this time. For seven years yeah. until I identified him in April. No, sir. It's but a you uh, but, but the police won't lay a finger on him. Mm. That's you want a hint why? Because he has a five gallon bucket. Oh, and they wouldn't even think that, about him by asking him. That is full of cash each night. Damn, so he's getting rich and there's nothing wrong with like this dude at all he he spreads it around is he like a like actual homeless and he also, person no he's rich oh he so fools he, people into thinking that he needs the money keep doing that but he keeps it all in cash yeah he actually owes the state of new jersey see you later he's he's got to pay restitution for that scam but he's not doing it that's why he came out here that's why he's doing the scam he gets it all in cash so he never has to report it yeah, bro. It's going to be a national news on, story again. I hope if if local media can pull their heads out of there, you know where. Yeah, bro. I, yeah, sure, sure. I tell you. All right, man. I'll talk to you soon. Just, man. just. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll catch you. Yeah, yeah brother. I definitely love like what you're doing. You're yeah. just, like activism, like, you're trying right? To, like, help. Yeah, oh, bro, so and it's not about money. That, bro. It ain't about I'm money. not making about any money from it. Doing what's like right, bro. It's not a scam. It. Yeah, you're just doing. I'm not in it for myself. Right. It's completely pro bono. I worked in the Walgreens mm -hmm. for us uh, uh, five right months. Down this three years. Yeah, and he was a regular customer. That's yeah, how I, I began him. to notice him, and then I identified him based on uh, the writing on the back of his shirt, which cops and security that he was good friends with didn't do yeah for seven years well yeah bro you or you or, keep this up, bro. or maybe they did and they just didn't want to talk about it because they were getting something like that, which is my fear but right. yeah just this is, this is a hard name to remember right yeah, bro. but if you can remember n-i-e-m-c-z-y-k just google that you won't believe what you find mm. my okay. videos from from this year and the, the national media from 10 years ago mm. okay all right then sir you take it easy out there you too man why is it so freaking hot <laughs> it's um, like the middle i of... think that we <laughs> probably got like one more week of this heat bro then it's gonna start to be like good you feel me i was just saying this feels like august but it's middle nah, of october bro, it is hot it's hot. almost halloween that's why too i'm up in like the light shade bro. i'm in the shade right now all right brother all right then sir be safe you here. too Yeah, that's the container park. That's uh, a big uh, grasshopper that spews fire. I guess they're saying I shouldn't take my sign in. There's not really much to see in there anyway, to be honest with you. As some people like, you can, you can watch plenty of videos about it if you want. Um, there's hundreds of videos about the container park, Las Vegas container park. And this is Fremont Street. That's the corner of Fremont and 7th.
so we're walking walking east on Fremont and it gets uh, you know less and less touristy as you move east No, that's not Nemchik. That's just uh, another old guy in a wheelchair. So yeah, if you missed the uh, first, uh, gosh, how long has this live been going? Probably four hours. If you missed the first part of it, I came out to Fremont State at the beginning because I got a tip that uh, Mark Nimchik had been inside of the Walgreens recently, about two weeks ago. Whereas I had thought he was uh, sticking to the strip. So that, so if he's coming back here, then uh, that means I've got to come back here. And so here I am.
and this is my neck of the woods a couple blocks east from Fremont Street experience that's a good looking uh, that's a good looking bike there that's a shadow That's an old Honda Shadow. That's a chopper, man. That's some serious power. God damn. I had a lot more viewers before and I was on Fremont. Anyway, I'm about to end it because uh, the purpose of the day of finding a check is dead. Uh, that's uh, Ferguson's. There's some cool spots in there. Coffee shops and restaurants. You should all check it out if you come to Vegas. Peyote. is a restaurant. I've eaten there once or twice. It's a frame, flame grilled. They've actually got the uh, wood set up right there where they uh, grill it. There's usually a tall stack of wood, but right now there's just a little bit of pieces of firewood. It's 11th and Fremont. I'm just gonna pop into the corner store. And keep the camera off while I'm in there. So uh, I'm gonna end it. Unless anybody has any questions or comments before I turn it off. Thank you for watching. This is exposing Mark Nimshik. If you can see me in the window a little bit, I'll uh, I'll be out here tomorrow, maybe. Well, definitely. And uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.